With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. The question is, Fe3O4 is very magnetic at room temperature but becomes paramagnetic at 850 Kelvin. So let us understand. And the second one is, the magnetic moment in fe 3 O4 are aligned equally in parallel and anti-parallel directions which are meeting randomness. So now Fe3O4 is paramagnetic, very magnetic. Fe3O4 is very magnetic at room temperature. Very magnetic at room temperature temperature. The reason being in its crystals magnetic numbers of Fe2 and Fe3 ions are unequal in magnitude. So what is the reason why Fe3O4 is very magnetic in, at room temperature? Because in its crystals the magnetic number magnetic number Magnetic numbers 2 and Fe3 are unequal in its magnitude. Are unequal. Are unequal in its magnitude. Magnetic. They are aligned in anti parallel direction. They are aligned, the second point is, they are aligned are aligned Uh, aligned in anti parallel direction. When ferrimagnetic is heated at 850 degree, what they have to do is 850 degree Kelvin, what happens is so we can say when Fe3O4. is heated. So at this temperature the arrangement is randomized. What is happening to the arrangement of uh, it is randomized. The arrangement is randomized. Randomized. And when it is randomized, it becomes paramagnetic. It becomes and it becomes paramagnetic. So now you have understood why Fe3O4 is very magnetic at room temperature and one it is when it is heated to 870 Kelvin, it becomes paramagnetic. The first one, the magnetic moment in Fe3O4 are aligned equally in parallel and anti-parallel directions. The second sentence, which are meeting randomized. But here we have learned that only in anti-parallel direction. Okay, not in parallel direction. So mm -hmm. this sentence is wrong. Whereas the first one is correct. Because it is at room temperature, it is very magnetic and paramagnetic at 850. Let us see this. So we know that the first one. A is true and B is false. R is false. So both assertion and reason are true. No, it is wrong. Both assertion and reason are true. But the reason is not the correct. Assertion is true statement. But reason is false. Both assertion and reasons are false. So this is also wrong. So the answer. I hope all of you have understood. Thank you.
for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.